Hello, fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. This is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts, and I am going to be doing a general reading for the second half of Pisces season. It's still going on through March 20th. I meant to post this earlier since I wanted to get it at the very start of Pisces season, but I've just been really busy with private readings and such, so I haven't had a chance until now to get this out but it is general so it's not going to resonate with every single fire sign please do take from this whatever makes sense for you release the rest if you are interested in your own personal private reading all of that information as always it's listed down below in the description box and i am currently booked through march 18th so just something to keep in mind and i will as always 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 have a list of the card decks that I use for my reading. So let's just dive right into it. I don't even have any focus messages that I typically start off with. I just wanted to get right into it and see what it is that spirit and the angels need to communicate to you for whoever needs these messages at this time. So let's start with the Pining Rose Love Oracle by Calico Moon. And let's take a look and see for my fire signs, for cross watchers, anybody who's been guided to tune in here today, what needs to come forward. All right, let's take a look at that. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. What needs to come through here? We have secrets tied into music. So this is one of those scenarios perhaps where there could be particular songs that you hear and you got to read between the lines. Um, this could also, of course, be tied into a partner that kept secrets from you. Somebody could be a musician. Somebody could be a gifted singer, play an instrument. There could just be particular songs tied into this connection. We have rekindle, so this is telling us here that whatever these secrets were, it created havoc in the relationship and might have broken you guys up, created distance and separation, but the desire to come back towards each other, rekindle the passion, rekindle the relationship is here. We have soul level. You guys are connecting on a soul level, so whether you resonate more with a soulmate bond or a twin flame bond, it doesn't really matter. They're both soul connections. But right now we do have hurt feelings between the two of you. But this is coming forward as a faded connection. Destiny. Interesting. So let's continue. Let's add some Mystic Moon Oracles to this and see what else needs to come forward. What's up with these secrets? Who ended up hurting who here but the desire to come back you know certainly from your person or even from you it's here and certain songs could be triggering something either in you or your person that you're focused on and it could also bring you peace and comfort Angels and spirit guides for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. What else, please? The answer is yes. Falling right below secrets. So yes, they were keeping secrets from you. We have contemplation right after that. Somebody's in very deep introspection here. Lots of thinking going on. It could be... We do have a female figure in that secrets card. We've got a male figure in the contemplation card. So take it for how it resonates, of course, but it could be feminine energy that kept the secrets. And so it's got the masculine in heavy, deep contemplation here, really thinking about the direction that they ultimately want to take this or the direction that it's gone. And since we have a rekindle card right there, this is telling us you guys are not together or there's definitely issues here. There's a gap, there's distance. We have the fall card, which can, of course, indicate the fall season. Something of significance could have happened between the two of you during the fall. But this also is indicative of a relationship that fell apart. But the desire to come back together, it's falling right below rekindle. There are lessons that need to be learned. 
And if those lessons have not been learned at this time, more than likely, that's why things have still not come back into union here. Part of this hurt energy might have something to do with this card. Somebody abandoned the connection or made the other person feel like they were abandoned. If part of these secrets were tied into lies and infidelities, could be tied into that. But somebody definitely got hurt here. We do have ascending. Ascending is moving forward. We do have that sun energy that's reflected in that photo and it's falling right below fate. This is a destined connection here, despite the challenges that are going on here. Despite all of that. Interesting. So let's add some tarot to this. Let's take a look and see what else needs to come forward. This is the palette deck by Sal Beadora of Eat, Read, Love. Angels and spirit guides, please, for my fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. What's up with these secrets? Please give us a better understanding of what happened here. Focusing on the second half of Pisces season for whoever needs it. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. What else do we need to know? We have the Queen of Wands. Especially for my feminines, you're coming through with your own energy. That is fire energy. The Queen of Wands is somebody who's very confident. It's like falling right below the answer. Yes, yes, I'm very confident. Or perhaps there was a time when you always, when you weren't always confident is what I'm trying to say. Part of the lesson that the Queen of Wands teaches us is that confidence shines from within. And if that's something that you need to work on, especially, of course, if you're feminine, continue to work on that. Because when we're keeping secrets, that's not coming from a place of confidence. That's not coming from a place of light. That's coming from a place of darkness. Anything but confident. Because the, the Queen of Wands is naturally exuberant and vibrant. And when secrets are kept in the dark, that's not vibrant. That's not exuberant in energy at all. The Queen of Wands is very courageous, very determined, typically a very joyful individual. Look at this. We've got the star. Right after that, beautiful card, a wish come true. Okay, the star card is typically tapped into Aquarius energy. Some of you guys might be focused on an Aquarian here, but there's still hope because the star is all about hope. It's being able to restore peace in a connection, to bring about healing in a relationship, in a situation. The star could even be interpreted to be a guardian angel in your life. This is tied into success and enlightenment. And that illumination as well is coming forward from that ascending energy with the vibe coming from the sun that's reflected in that photo. So not only do you have the energy of the sun, but now you've got the star coming through here. A wish come true in time. So secrets, pain, hurt, a relationship that was abandoned, that fell apart. Clearly, you guys have had some challenges here. But the star is here to help uplift the situation. And as I often like to say with the star card, it's an impossible situation that can be possible. Because we have hope that is coming through. As long as you can see things from a positive point of view and try to maintain your positivity in all this, even during hard times, even during times when your faith has been tested, there truly is a chance that your wish can come true when it comes to this connection. Even if it does seem impossible, maybe it isn't. You know? 
because the star card is all about two people that despite the challenges, the love remains. There is a strong bond between the two of you. What it is that you need to focus on at this time is the future and where you guys could ultimately land. You can't change the past. What's happened has happened. And if that's tied into a broken heart, hurt feelings and secrets, infidelities, cheating, if that's all a part of this equation, you guys can actually heal from that because the love is here still. Focus on rebuilding and restoring faith in the connection between the two of you because the star card can restore that faith. And that despite the chaos, things are a lot calmer when the star card is present. You know, it's totally possible. We have the four of coins coming through here. So that's earth energy. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This, of course, represents the four of pentacles in the tradi traditional tarot deck. This is tied into the need for stability and security. And falling, no pun intended, <laughs> falling right below the fall card, you know, a relationship that has fallen down is anything but stable. And the Four of Pentacles, too, you know, it's got its own challenges, especially when you see things from a more conservative standpoint, you know, because it is all about security and frugality. So you might also feel, especially financially, that things have been a little bit tight, whether you're unemployed, whether you've been struggling to hold on to a job or just struggling to get food on the table it's tied into that type of energy it's you know it's a bit of a struggle sometimes to maintain the stability in one's life and it's it's tied into all that we have the king of swords followed by the ace of swords which is a beautiful card because two cards air energy libra aquarius gemini I love how this king has lipstick. It just, it's the cutest card ever. And I believe Sal designed these cards. So I absolutely love it. So the king of swords, very intellectual, very clear thinking person, very disciplined. They want the truth. You know, nothing but the truth. No more secrets. And the King of Swords teaches us a very different lesson. When they are faced with something really difficult or painful, and clearly that's already being indicated here with the Herd card, they tend to be or try to be impartial trying to look at this thing from a logical standpoint, that rational state of mind. That's how they tend to figure things out or learn these lessons. So if this is your person, if you're focused on an air sign, especially masculine in energy, it could be tied into their personality. Now with the Ace of Swords, this is a breakthrough here between the two of you. Despite the pain, despite somebody abandoning the connection, this is clarity here. This is victory. This is putting you guys in a seat of power. Especially if you're dealing with an air sign here. This is the opportunity to start over. A new beginning. Clarity. Plain and simple. A breakthrough and clarity is what the Ace of Swords is bringing in. And then we've got the Four of Wands right after that, which is more of your own energy, guys. Fire energy from the Wands. And it's, it's one of my favorite cards. 
because it's harmony. It's a happy life, a happy home life, a happy future, a happy marriage, a happy relationship. It's falling right below fate and ascending. This is where you guys can be moving forward. This can be a part of the future in this connection is to be able to fix what is broken and be able to repair the connection to move forward and ascend towards the energy of that sun. You know, sharing a home together, having cause to celebrate life together, to build a family. For those of you who have even discussed that, you know, it's like, let, I, let's have children. Let's start a family. Let's come back into union. You know, those are all things that are possible. Totally possible when it comes to this connection, guys. So let's add some romance angels to this. Let's take a look and see what else needs to come forward here. So angels and spirit guides for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius for the second half of Pisces season through March 20th. For whoever needs these messages, please bring it forward. But these secrets really hurt the connection. So moving forward, there cannot be secrets. There cannot be deception. Release your ex coming through for some of you, okay? The time has come to clear your energy. So of course there are those of you that are still very hurt over what's happened here you guys are not together so more than likely you you've already done this you've already released them but what's coming through here is that they want to come back the choice ultimately of course is up to you if you want them back and i have a feeling with the four of wands indicated right there if what you're wanting is harmony back in this connection and to be able to build a more stable, happy life moving forward with this person, and if you're willing to take them back and get them out of that X zone, then you guys can certainly try to work on this partnership. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. When two people go into separation, and reconnect, you know, you got to go through that initial phase of reconnecting and getting to know each other all over again, depending, of course, on how long you guys have known each other. Some of you guys might not even need that time frame to be able to reconnect, but there are those of you that do need that. And here we are. See, deception was a part of the problem. Someone wearing a false self mask in this relationship that was tied into these secrets and in order for you guys to fix this and move forward that needs to not be a part of the equation here for my fire signs you got to love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive your person has to do the same thing especially if they are keeping secrets if they're dishonest they're deceptive that's not going to win you back and that's not what you're going to want moving forward. So lessons. Lessons need to be learned from both ends. And if your person hasn't fully learned that keeping secrets is not going to bring you back, then the journey is not over. They need to continue to learn those lessons, plain and simple. Plain and simple. Now, for those of you who rekindle the romance, who come back together, this is a potential, an engagement, a proposal of marriage. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. That is so totally possible. Okay, so like I've done for all of the other elements, I really wanted to grab some dialogue messages here. So I'm going to pull dialogue cards from several decks, take what resonates with you. Some of these words could be coming from you or your person, of course. Take whichever ones you are guided towards. Okay, so we'll start off with the 5D Love Messages Oracle deck by Calico Moon, and then we'll move on to the next dialogue card deck that I choose. All right, this is either you that needs to speak up or your person, or both of you. 
Angels and Spirit Guides for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Please bring it forward. Whoever needs to speak up here, please. Okay, let's grab the bottom. All right, so take whichever one you're drawn to. Okay, first one. I can't believe I let you get away. This could be your person feeling this way, especially if you abandoned the connection because they were keeping secrets and if they were telling you lies, they were being deceptive. You're the one that got away. Next one. I am constantly wondering what you are up to. Yeah. Especially if they know they messed up, you know, if they are the cause as to why the relationship fell apart and you're at a distance from one another, you're not talking, you're not engaging, you're not conversing. Of course, it's natural for them to think, you know, what the heck are you up to? What, what are you doing in your life? Where are you? You know, so many thoughts going through their head because you guys are at a distance from one another. Next message, I have to work on myself right now. Yeah, you know, when, when two people are in separation as a result of deceptive energies, secrets, something painful that happened between the two of you, and if they contributed to the demise of this relationship, why you guys even went into separation to begin with, they definitely need to work on elements of themselves that contributed to that. Because that is going to create ascension to people that have learned those lessons and are ready to move forward together. So you could also be resonating with that, having to work on yourself at this time also. Next message, I feel like you're ignoring me. And some of you guys might, especially if you're not ready to talk or if you're still really upset with this person. Why don't you reach out to me? More than likely, you're still really hurt, you're still upset, and you're not ready to talk. Next one. I want to reach out, but something always stops me. You know, perhaps they're afraid of rejection or that you don't even want to talk to them. You're not ready. They're afraid of what you would have to say especially if this is still raw and the pain is still so fresh. They're not, you know, maybe you're not even ready. They've thought about reaching out, but something stops them because more than likely they're afraid of how that conversation would flow, how it would go. If it's something that would even be successful, you know, if it's even a good idea at this point. All right, so let's move on to our next deck. I've actually combined volume one and two. This is the Twin Flame Messages deck by Mystic Moon. We'll grab a few from here. And I combined them. So this deck is so thick now, it's really hard to shuffle. So I think I'm just gonna fan it out and then choose some cards here, okay? All right, let's choose this one here. I knew I screwed things up and honestly have no idea how to fix it. And until they're ready, until they come to the realization of what it is that they need to do in order to repair the damage that they caused by the secrets and deception, you know, all you can do is live your life. And if it comes back together, it really falls on this person to be able to fix what is broken here because they screwed up and they are acknowledging that. Maybe they couldn't acknowledge that before and that's a part of their lesson, a part of their growth, that they're ready to fess up to this now. Next message. My mind and heart always comes back to you. So even though they know they screwed up, they still want you, they still wanna rekindle the connection They've tried to move on maybe, but their mind and their heart always comes back. And perhaps for my fire signs, you resonate with that too. Next one. I can't seem to find the right words to say to you. 
And that could be contributing to why they stop themselves here. You know, I want to reach out, but something always stops me because they can't find the right words to say. Okay, let's grab another one. It all comes down to timing, exactly. The timing is what is playing a factor here because the timing has got to be right. If they come towards you too soon and you're not ready, then it could just all blow up in their face. Next message. I was reminded of your scent recently. There could be a particular perfume or cologne that you are known for and they catch a whiff of that and it reminds them of the connection. It reminds them of you. This could be something that you go through as well if you resonate with that. All right, let's grab one more. You've been in my dreams. They're dreaming about you. You are still very much a part of their dreams. All right, so that's what's coming through from that deck. Let's go ahead and grab some final dialogue messages from the Naked Flame Healing Messages deck. Angels and spirit guides, please, for my fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. For the second half of Pisces season through March 20th for whoever needs these messages. So you could certainly identify with some of these as if this was you saying it. And of course, it could be your person. So we'll grab a few. Angels and spirit guides for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Please bring it forward. I see a twin flame wedding. Let's grab the bottom. I love this deck because it offers so much dialogue here. And it's really very different from the other decks. Twin Flame Wedding. So we have engagement. This could be a part of what the future might have in store for the two of you. A twin flame connection that's heading for marriage. That's coming through for some of you. Okay, so first message. I am currently feeling inadequate. I want to be there for you, but I don't know how to be because this current situation is so complicated. Okay, that's the first one. Next message. There is someone else in my life who I love. It is not the same as the connection we share. I don't want to hurt anyone and don't want to lead you on. So part of these secrets and deception for some of you guys is because your person entered into another connection with somebody else, but they're coming through here letting you know it's not fulfilling them in the way that the connection with you has. And it's one of those scenarios where, you know, the grass wasn't greener. But the timing is off, you know. Timing is off. It all comes down to timing. It's not the right time for them to even reach out to you, especially since they're still attached to somebody else. That needs to cycle out if they are to even approach you and want to rekindle the connection. Next card. I am a mess right now. I am so fucking confused and I don't know what I want right now. I need to go within for answers. They're not ready. They are acknowledging they are a mess. Thing is, they created that mess. So give them that space. Give them that time. They need it. So many lessons to learn there still. Next message. I feel that coming towards you would be a huge risk at this time. And I'm not willing to blow my life up as I have gotten quite comfortable settling in still. My soul is constantly feeling the magnetic pull. That's pretty intense. Some of you guys needed to hear that one. Last one. My family doesn't approve of our relationship and it is making it difficult. Ultimately, I know I have to do what makes me happy because this is my life and I have to live it. Damn. So for some of you guys, there are family interferences here and that the family doesn't approve of the connection, you know, 
At the end of the day, it's all about two people that love one another. And if you're both wanting to make this work together, it's up to you guys. Yes, the family can influence your decisions, but you both have your own free will. And if what you're wanting here is to come together and just be able to build a life with one another, technically, nobody has a say in that. Just the two of you. Okay? So let's grab some Lover's Oracle here to add to this for this reading. Angels and Spirit Guides for my Fire Signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. For the second half of Pisces season through March 20th for whoever needs these messages. And again, we'll grab a few from this deck. Take what resonates. Angels and Spirit Guides for my Fire Signs. If you guys only knew how difficult it could be sometimes to shuffle heart-shaped cards. <laughs> Let's grab a few more here. Let's grab the bottom. Okay. All right. Interesting. We have reflection. Just the word reflection itself for me is very twin flame and energy because it's mirroring energy. So some of you guys, again, are coming forward as twin flames. And look here, we have a soulmate card coming through as well. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Yeah, especially if trust was an issue. Trust was broken, you know, which is... Not surprising considering we have secrets, deception, and somebody definitely got hurt here. Those secrets hurt both of you. So it's not the right time. Give each other space at the moment. Wait. I'm not surprised. That's coming through. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Exactly. When you guys are meant to come back towards each other, that's when it's going to happen. It falls on divine timing, not one second sooner. It's interesting how we have secret admirer here, okay? Secrets. So if you break down the meaning, truly, of this message, yes, of course, it could be somebody out there who has a crush on you. That's a possibility. But I also interpret this as, and this card reads, someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Somebody out there who admires you. It could be this person, of course. They still have a lot of love for you, have a lot of admiration for you. But part of the reason why this all fell apart is because of these freaking secrets that they keep holding on to. And then we've got soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So for those of you who are missing a soulmate and feel that this person is your soulmate, despite the challenges that you guys have been through, believe. Believe in the impossible. Believe in what can happen. Believe in a potential reconciliation. Anything is possible. Remember, you've got the star card coming through, letting you know that they will manifest in the 3D physically, face to face. Last card is look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way, which is, of course, different for every person tuning in. You got to go within and really try to figure things out for yourself as to why things are the way they are, why things happen the way they happened, why you are reacting to the situation the way you are reacting to it. Because if you can get to the root of it, that gives you the clarity that you need that is tied into the energy of the Ace of Swords, that breakthrough. It's like a light bulb moment for you to, it helps you to figure things out for yourself. It's like a switch that comes on. It's like, oh, okay, this is what I need to do now. This is where I need to go. This is the direction that I'm meant to go. So yeah, don't be afraid to self-analyze and just look inside yourself for those answers. All right, let's close this out, guys, with some healing messages. I'm going to pull a message for each sign. 
angels and spirit guides please for my fire signs for leo please let's start off with leo a healing message for leos at this time so let's go ahead and grab one for you some healing messages leo at this time oh we've got two for leo we have friendships so your friendships play a major part in your life soulmate so these two cards coming through together for you leo is telling me here it's a renewed foundation for you and your soulmate sometimes you gotta start back at one you know go back to the basics of when you guys were friends first to be able to build a stronger foundation in that connection so that you can take it from being friends to being lovers to being soulmates but wow beautiful that's what's coming through that healing energy for leos for aries healing messages please for aries whoa miracles miracles are on their way to you aries remember with the star card coming forward the impossible can be possible miracles are on their way for you beautiful all right final healing message for sagittarius for sagittarius please angels and spirit guides a healing message for sagittarius retreat this is actually coming through for you sagittarius to let you know that you got to pay attention to your instincts and if it just doesn't feel right it isn't right because the timing is off retreat is all about backing away from something or someone especially if you know they're still being deceptive or still keeping secrets you know be mindful of the energy that they are bringing towards you it goes back to this message look inside yourself follow your intuition follow your gut retreat can also be interpreted to mean that you just need a break a vacation go on a retreat take some time for yourself bring about healing and whatever part of you needs healing it could even be physically if you're exhausted if you've been dealing with some health struggles take a retreat and the bottom card for everyone is listening this is coming forward from the angels pay attention to the messages that are being communicated to you either intuitively or energetically or even in your dreams because they're trying to tell you something and even in this reading they're communicating messages to you that need to be heard so open up your heart open up your eyes to what is coming through here and it will help you move forward and to heal and to learn whatever it is that you need at this time all right guys so that's all i've got for you for now focusing on the remainder of pisces season i hope whatever part of this reading resonated with you guys i do hope that it helped you somehow and again if you're interested in your own personal private reading all of that information is down below in the description box and just a final announcement i still have my free reading giveaway contest going on all of the information is on the community page and contest rules are all listed there it's going to be going on until i reach my hundred thousand subscriber milestone so i'm almost there thanks to all of you and as soon as i hit that milestone the contest will be closed and then i have the task of reading through all of the submissions so far we're up to at least a couple hundred submissions so it's going to take me a good chunk of time to be able to read through all that but i will be contacting one person that will win a free reading and for everybody that doesn't i will go ahead and send you a discount code that you can apply towards a reading of your choice okay guys so that's what i needed to say just to close out this reading if you're interested in that all right so that's it for now thank you guys so very much for being here and for tuning in and i'll be back real soon with more readings for you guys thank you so much see you next time bye, -bye.